Hey, what's up? This is Federico Visi, and in this demo I'll show you how we used Max to map the data coming from two Maya sensor armbands to a complex granular sampler with resonators. We used the excellent machine learning library MLLIP for Max to quickly map arm postures and muscular efforts to multiple parameters of the granular engine in order to control real-time processing of the audio signal coming from an electric guitar. The cool thing about this approach is that you don't really have to waste time mapping and rescaling control values and you can easily map complex expressive gestures to multiple synthesis parameters without having to go through every single parameter one by one. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, see you later. Awesome, all right. So like, in this batch, we pass the data from the my sensor band, and as you can see, there are two separate um, batches for each one of the sensor band. If I squeeze my fist, you can get some EMG data out there from the eight channels of the mile. And if I move around, like the data from the IMU inside the mile starts moving. So, First thing, we center the value of the yaw with that button. Right, so the yaw is, of course, mice is pointing in the same direction. Then we switch batch to this like machine learning uh, model that I've already trained, but I can do it again from the beginning. So I switch. Train clear the data and start sending sending data to train the model with. So I will uh, now in this position I push a pedal to send the data from the mice in the model several times. Same goes for another position. And another one. And I like also being forward and it gets into this posture. Finally, like the rest standard position, neutral. Right, so we've got our data set, and I push train, and then switch the map. So now we've got the likelihoods of the five different positions I trained the model with. Cool. So we can switch to another patch that has the freeze resonator audio engine that processes the signal of my and the presets of this rather complex engine are stored into a battery storage object. And basically, we can interpolate between these different presets using the likelihoods from the machine learning engine. And this is pretty cool because you don't have to do complex one-to-one -one mappings. You can just map postures to different states of your audio engine. And so let's see what we can do with it. If I, if I stand in the rest position, nothing happens. I can like just.
So this is just an example. Of course, you can do other things with this stuff. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Andrea, for hitting out. Cheers, guys. See you later. <laughs>